All right. Um, hi guys, my name is Jerome, and obviously I love technology. If you will check my channel, uh, you will see some contents on robotics, um, um, uh, graphics design. Uh, and right now, I'm more involved in uh, software development, web development specifically. All right. So I, I love working and uh, talking about these things. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about one uh, technology. Um, that is being used in web development. All right, so that that technology is called ZAMP. All right, so let me just show you the website of uh, that uh, technology. So it's right over here. So it says ZAMP is an easy to install Apache distribution containing MariaDB, uh, PHP, and Perl. All right, so you can just this is basically a one whole uh, package. Okay. So as you can see, that description is being uh, emphasized as like a collection of technologies, like a technology stack. Because before, you, uh, it was more tedious to set up your local machine as a web server. So you have to configure MySQL separately. You have to, you have to configure um, Apache server uh, separately and your uh, PHP if you're using PHP. And uh, yeah, it was more tedious, but right now, you'll basically just have to download one package and just click, you know, uh, you, all the way through the finish. And y y after that, you have one server up and running, all right? So just as simple as that. And um, um, as you can see, regardless of operating system that you're using, uh, if you're using Windows, there's one for Windows. And for Linux, uh, there, there's also a ZAMP for Linux, and as well as for uh, Mac OS, all right, for, for Macintosh uh, computers. So if we will head over to Wikipedia uh, and look for information about ZAMP, it says right here it's free, so this, uh, you, you don't have to be you know, wasting some money uh, to acquire this application, so it's open source and cross-platform, so very, very cool. As right, so you can see, it's a web server, a solution stack package developed by Apache Friends. So um, yeah, X stands for cross-platform, A for Apache, M for MariaDB. Um, MariaDB is actually just like another version of MySQL. Uh, if you will check uh, this uh, information, uh, MySQL is now currently owned and being maintained by Oracle Corporation, which is a private corporation. So. A lot of people actually um, uh, got scared or worried um, now that um, MySQL is being maintained by Oracle because it might become like a, like a paid software, all right, In, instead of being a free one. But what happened is um, some people, <laughs> as I should say, you know, took out the source, source code and come up with a new name called uh, MariaDB, all right? so that it will be like technically different um, software okay so but basically it's just another version of MySQL so your knowledge of MySQL is still uh, very much applicable and the same even if you're gonna be using MariaDB alright so uh, what can you do with XAMPP so as, of course uh, basically it's a web server uh, you will be able to deploy your uh, database driven application uh, in your local machine uh, and work on it. You need debug before you can deploy that into uh, production, all right, in, or into a real or a commercial web server. All right, so, so even if you're just running locally in your computer, once you have XAMPP installed, uh, you will be able actually, you know, uh, install WordPress on that, uh, Joomla, and Drupal and all of this uh, stuff right over here in their website okay so um, because some people might uh, you know if uh, for people that are uh, using WordPress uh, especially for beginners uh, sometimes they uh, think that they, they can only um, they can only uh, install WordPress uh, like uh, while they are online okay so yeah basically um, you, you, w when you go to WordPress website, um, most of the time, uh, other developers actually, um, you know, edit and develop their website while uh, uh, they are connected on, uh, you know, uh, the internet. But if you have XAMPP installed, 
uh, you will actually be able to uh, run your WordPress website locally wh while, while it is still in the development. All right, so uh, yeah, basically that's for XAMPP. And also I'm gonna include in this video that if you wanna learn about web development, um, if you're a beginner, you don't have any background, I have a course on Udemy, which is entitled uh, The Complete Guide in HTML, uh, CSS, and JavaScript. The link is uh, down in the description below. And uh, uh, please check that out. Sometimes it's on sale. So uh, you might be able to take advantage of that. And also please subscribe to my channel. And um, uh, if we are lucky, um, in my next videos, I'm gonna be putting some, uh, if, if there are a, a promo available from Udemy, I'm going to share it with you guys, all right? So uh, like 90%, uh, sometimes uh, crazy, sometimes it's 95%, it's crazy uh, discount, right, on, on their courses. So even if it's not my course, if I found, if uh, I have uh, been given the opportunity to, to, to avail as an instructor, uh, if some of my co-instructor in Udemy give me some coupons, uh, I will share it with you guys in some of my uh, future videos here on, on my YouTube channel. So make sure to, to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be able to take advantage of those uh, promotions. All right, so thank you guys for watching. And again, my name is Jerome, and I love talk, talking about, and about technology, uh, working, uh, th 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 that's my passion and uh, I have no plan on stopping all right um, keep, stay, uh, keep safe and yeah have a good one